Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. This evening, we wanted to hear from you from America. So we asked for your questions, questions about Washington, the direction of our country, how, where it's headed, whatever is on your mind. But this is our first time. It won't be our last, but it's the first. Together, we are working toward that more perfect union. Our first question is from Michael from Chicago. I'm assuming most people go into Congress with a set of ideals of making compromises, and compromise is what made our nation great. It seems we're not doing that anymore. How, how do we get back to that? It is true our country has a rich history of compromise. The fact that each state has two senators was a compromise. The Electoral College was a compromise. Some of those compromises were good, and some very much were not. It is true there are members now who are more than willing to compromise to get things done, but not on the big items. I think that's true for at least two reasons. People are worried about getting a primary opponent, and compromise is more of a general election issue than a primary issue. Number two, the differences seem pretty stark right now in terms of political ideology. And there's a belief among some that the issue is better than the solution. And by that, I mean there's a reluctance to give the other side any legislative victories at all. Look no further than last summer. There were enough votes to pass Tim Scott's police reform bill, but they were not going to let him have a legislative victory, period. When will that change? We can make a change. The question is, you know, when we're working together in terms of priority, uh, in terms of how you vote, uh, right now you can have a long and very successful career in politics without ever working with the other side. Our next question comes from Todd from Florida. Term limits, is that something that's good to have new people, uh, fresh ideas? Obviously, I believe in them because I term limited myself. I left, I wasn't, I wasn't going to lose. I didn't leave to run for something else. I just left. So when I hear term limits, I think term limits on public service, not just limits on one office or another, and here's why I say that. If you limit members of the House to three terms, nothing will change if they're just going to wind up running for the U.S. Senate or governor or attorney general. The purpose of term limits is to, in theory, free the person to vote without an eye toward personal ambition. If there is always another office to run for, there will always be the temptation to vote for what is in your best interest and not the best interest of the whole. Ambition is incredibly powerful. If you want to curb political ambition, you have to curb their time in politics, not just a single office. Our final question comes from Grant Boone, who emailed asking, as a prosecutor, how do you withstand the emotional toll that the substance of a case takes on you? How can those of us aspiring lawyers handle the burden of darkness that a lawyer encounters in their work? Um, I did not withstand it. I lost that battle. When all you see is depravity, you begin to believe that it is all that exists. So I am probably not the best person to help you separate uh, work from the rest of life because I was not able uh, to do so. Uh, the best prosecutors are the ones who can communicate the pain, the heartache, the loss, the criminality of what happened and do it in a persuasive way. And to communicate it effectively, you have to feel it. And to feel it, it changes you. So you have three options, really. You can do it for a little while uh, and then stop. Uh, you can do it but have some source of light in your life, your faith, your spouse, your children, something that can temper the darkness. Or unfortunately, you can just surrender uh, and live life as a cynic. It's the best job you will ever have. Just understand it is more than a job, and it does take over other aspects of your life. If you have a question for us, you can find us on social media at Gaudi America. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.